In my last video, I demonstrated how to make a Bauhaus block, which I feel is basically the building block to all kinds of crochet fun. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to join the blocks side to side. I like to take the blocks, join them in the rows, and then take those rows and join them to each other. So we will start with two of the Bauhaus blocks I have made, this one in Red Heart Super Saver Lemon and this one in Red Heart Super Saver Shocking Pink. I start by putting them side by side and then putting them right side together. And I don't know if you've seen the other video or not, this is eight rows high by eight stitches wide. And so in this instance I'm going to thread the yellow yarn because it'll probably be a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. And because there are eight rows and because of the way I work the rows, there will be a total of eight stitches. And what you can see here is there's sort of like where this stitch begins on this square and then there's sort of where the stitches all begin on this square. And the first stitch I take, I'm going to go through both of those points. And I just do that to anchor it and get a very secure join. And basically what I'm here, using here is a whip stitch, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through under the two loops on the pink square and then under the two loops of those slip stitches I did across the top on the yellow square. Then I'm going to pull it through. Then again I go through the two loops of the tambour crochet on the pink and then again on the yellow. And I'm going to do that six more times. One. Six. And so now I've joined all of the um, tambour crochet stitches across the top of each square and now I'm going to go right into this part, this little knot that would be, and this one over here, and do a tenth stitch. And then I am done for the time being. I don't trim the ends at this point because I never know when I might want to pull something out and fix it. And you can always weave in ends later. Um, it can be very hard to unweave in ends once you do it. So anyhow, now I have this nice tidy join and you can see what that looks like there. So for me, this is like a measure of joy having it be all this, all tidy. So now I'm going to join one more square. This time I have another square to join. It's the Red Heart Super Saver Light Coral. And I'm going to put it right sides together with the shocking pink. And again I'm going to thread the yarn from the bottom stitch onto my, oh I forgot to mention this is my Clover Bent Tip Yarn Needle. These are vastly superior to absolutely everything else I've used. They changed my life. Um, you can try weaving in ends with other stuff, but if you find that you just can't do it or you don't like weaving in ends, definitely get the Clover Bent Tip Yarn Needle. It's the one that comes in a blue chibi or is sometimes called yarge, uh, large yarn needle. Not the jumbo, the large. And uh, it has completely changed my life with regard to crochet. So then we start with this just as we did on the other one and we go through the very end of each and then pull through and then we do 
eight whip stitches by going through the two loops and then under the other two loops. We pull that through. So when I make when I use these Bauhaus blocks, if it's six stitches by six rows, then I have eight whip stitches to join. If it's four stitches by four rows, then I have six whip stitches to join. So it's always two more whip stitches than the number of rows that you have. Okay, so there I've done the eight whip stitches, and now I just have this final stitch at the end to do. And again, I have a nice tidy seam, and you can see the pink yarn and how it's joined with the joined the orange square. And anyway, I um, it's a it's a look I really enjoy. I I like how tidy it is and everything that you can do with these pieces. There's just I haven't made everything that one could possibly make, but maybe one day you know, I'll be able to expand my repertoire.